What does Welsh actually mean? Well, let's find out. The word Welsh, as we know today, comes from the Old English word Willish, or if you will, a variant of Willish, which of itself is an adjectival form of Welsh. The word Welsh in Old English, its proper meaning is Celt, but within the context of a hearkening to the Wolkai tr tribe under the Roman Empire. Yeah, when you look up this word in Old English, look at, looking up on Anglo-Saxon dictionaries and whatnot, uh, you'll find, you know, you'll say things like foreigner and whatnot, but a very specific kind of, of uh, foreigner, so to speak. But, but, uh, but the main meaning behind this specific word is, is really a, like someone under the Roman Empire, but specifically a Celtic or Roman uh, person under the Roman Empire and, and by extension Latin. Uh, really Romanness, if you will, but with that underlayer that, that you know pertaining to a to this uh, Celtic tribe, uh, Wolkai, under the Roman Empire. Let's move on. Interestingly enough, uh, we have the old English word uh, Walchnutu, which which later I believe became Walnut, which is cool of itself. And then we have Walchland, which which is reference to uh, Normandy, um, which Normandy of itself at one time that area. Uh, was once under the Roman Empire um, and so it's sort of assumed that the people that lived there were assumed to be like descendants of uh, people of, of the Roman Empire so to speak so hence the term Welchland. Thus in Old English we have the nominal form of Wales meaning essentially Romanized Celts and or if you will land of the Romanized Celts. One has to bear in mind that in this time, uh, the name of a country was named after the people that inhabited that piece of land, so to speak. To get really specific, uh, North uh, Wales uh, refers to the Cymru, or if you will, today Wales. Then we have Brit Wales, meaning uh, Britons. Uh, we have Corn Wales, uh, West Wales, referring to Cernau, uh, referring to Cornwall, uh, also coined as Wales of the Horn. And then we have Galwalas, uh, referring to Gaul, uh, what we call now France. Notice how all these uh, prefixes are all um, geographical. But geographical, uh, these are the places under the Roman Empire. All right, so we have to bear that in mind. We've got to bear in mind the context of these words, right? However, this is not an English-only phenomenon, but rather a Germanic phenomenon. In Old High German, we have the term Wallach, which, were, which meant Welsh. Uh, we, Again, a going hearkening back to that older uh, reference to the Wolkai within the context under the Roman Empire. Hence, this term also meant Roman. And by extension, the term Walcheland referred to Gaul, Gallia. Wallachisk is an adjectival form to mean Roman, Latin, if you will. All right, so it's just Romanness, Latin. You know, so that's the main thing is really under the Roman Empire, and I really need need to emphasize that because. To focus on the fact that this term can mean foreigner, um, to focus on that would be a mischaracterization of what this word actually means. In later history, a Germanic peoples uh, throughout Europe still use this term Welsh, if you will, uh, such as Italy was known as uh, Welschland, or if you will, Welschland, uh, depending uh, where you are in Germany, how that would be pronounced. Uh, by extension, Welsh would refer to the Italians by the Germans. We have the canton of Valis, um, Valis uh, or Valis, um, and their speech of Hua Velsch, uh, referring to the French speakers, and this will be a term used by the uh, Swiss Germans. Anyway, but moving on, we got uh, Wallons. Uh, you know, this is again a reference to the Latin speakers or Latin derived speakers, if you will, and this is employed by the Flemish. So, this is only to name a few, all right? So, in conclusion, the term Welsh uh, in its origins goes back to a reference to, to the ancient Celtic tribe of Wolkai, and this is within and under the Roman Empire. So a Romanized Celt, a Latin-speaking Celt, if you will, so to speak, if, but really this term meant uh, uh, Welsh in its variants, meant like Celt, Roman, Latin, really more Latin and Roman. Uh, you know, it's kind of like mixed all together as far as like, that person under the Roman Empire, you know, Celtic, and anyway, I'm, I'm really driving it home here, but let's move on. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe if you're new, and if you really like the channel, please become a patron on my Patreon page down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.